We're here today, as you heard, not just to send a message to Congressman Reichert, we're in Yakima, not just to send a message to Doc Hastings, we're in uh, Walla Walla, not just to send a message to Kathy McMorris Rogers, we're here to say to all the Republicans. We want some reasonable Republicans to come with us on immigration reform. Let me tell you something. We're trying to get reasonable Democrats to come with us too. And we had to push a lot to get some reasonable Democrats to come forward. And they did. Some of them came forward and they offered a bill and we don't like every, or a framework, excuse me, they don't like everything in that framework. But we got something from the Democrats. The Republicans, where are they? Where is Representative Riker? Where is Kathy McMorris Rogers? Where is Doc Hastings? Where is Dino Rossi who keeps wanting to run for things? Where is Attorney General Rob McKenna? Where is Lindsey Graham? Where is Dick Luger? Where are all of these Republican senators who took a pledge to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America and to do what was right for America? And you have heard that what is happening now is not right for America. You know, I've been standing here and I've been watching the trucks go by and some of them have uh, lawnmowers on the back and others are refrigerated trucks with lots of foods and vegetables. And I'm thinking to myself, nothing in this country would work without the labor of immigrants. Yeah. Nothing, nothing in this country. Lawns would not get mowed, lettuce would not be picked, tomatoes would not be picked, cherries and apples would not be exported to make Washington this great trade dependent state. None of us would be able to have our kids looked after. None of us would be able to walk on the streets and know that we have a country that functions. So we know there are economic reasons why immigration reform is the right thing. We know there are political reasons because Latinos and Asians and other immigrants make up larger and larger percentages. Right here in this district, Bellevue has 30% foreign born constituents. Right here in this district. Doc Hastings, 28% Latino in Doc Hastings district. So we know there are political reasons why immigrants matter, but brothers and sisters, it's the moral question. It is the moral question. And during the civil rights struggle, it took a lot. And it took people coming out over and over again. It took fire hoses. It took protests in the street. It took white, Asian, brown, black, every person that believed that we have a future that is better than this waiting for us. It took risk. It took sacrifice. It took a long time. And it's not over. That civil rights struggle is not over. But we need to do it now, and we need to be ready to escalate. So right now, we're going to have a delegation that goes in to Representative Reichert's office and ask these questions. But I want to tell you, I think it was Jeff Johnson who said this isn't, a bi this isn't a partisan issue, so don't make it one. And I just want to remind people that just four years ago, there were 62 U.S. senators, including 23 Republicans, who voted for immigration reform. And they're not here now because they want the same old politics. They want to say that we're not going to vote for immigration reform because of politics. But this is human beings' lives that are at stake. And we're ready to fight for it. And next week and the week after, you're going to see more and more risk being taken, more and more escalation happening. Because let me ask you, are you going to be quiet about this? No. And if you're here today, will you bring five people with you to the next action? Yeah. Yeah. Because this isn't enough, but it's a beginning. And if every one of you goes home, and if every one of you is moved to say to your friends and your family, we have a lot at stake for our lives, for our communities, and for our country, we will, our moment is coming. Yeah.